In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create staging websites on Hostinger. That means that you can clone a website to run as many tests as you want without affecting your live site. So let me show you how right now. You won't believe how easy it is to create one of these staging sites here on Hostinger. So if you have a website, it's going to be a breeze. And I'm going to show you how step by step right here. Now, before I show you how to do that, let me show you the deal that they have right now. On Hostinger, you can grab a shared hosting plan, super inexpensive with the coupon code that I have. So to apply it, go to the link in the description, jump into hosting, go to web hosting, and in web hosting, go to down here, and you're gonna find the plans that they have available for shared hosting. My personal favorite is the cloud startup because it has a dedicated IP. But if you're looking for a more affordable option, you got premium and business. So I'm gonna show you business to see how cheap you can actually get it with my coupon code. Once you're here, you're going to be asked how many months do you want to pay in advance? In this case, I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. So no more payments for four years. Now, right now, the price is $191. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So if you plan to grab a shared housing plan, use my coupon code. All right. So enough talk about that. What we want to do is clone this side in a staging site where we're not going to affect anything right here. So in this case, this is a WordPress site that I have on Hostinger and I can make changes, but this would affect the live site, which is which is something I don't want to do. So in this case, I'm going to go to my Hostinger H panel and I'm going to go to websites, select the website that I want to create a staging site, which is this one. I'm going to go to dashboard and in dashboard, we're going to click on WordPress and we're going to go to staging. In staging, it's super easy to create a staging site. I've already created one previously, but I'm going to do one for you right now. So I'm going to create a staging site and I'm going to name this whatever I like. This is going to be a subdomain. So as I mentioned, these are going to be a clone of everything, files and all that without affecting the main site. So I'm going to say new and I'm going to create. There we go. The process has begun. And depending on the size of your site, it's the time that it's going to take. In this case, I already have this one ready. So I have the option to manage my staging site and I have several options that are available inside of here without affecting the main settings. OK, so I can force HTTPS, maintenance mode, light speed if I want to enable that object cache, flush cache, WordPress updates, PHP version, WordPress version, etc. And I can go into the back end of the staging admin panel. Here we go. I am now in the back end of our tester site. Remember, it's tester.ltd.sale.shop, which is what I made for the staging site. And it's a clone of the main site. Now, now I can go into the back end of this WordPress site and I have everything as I did in the original site. So the update that I have pending, the themes that I'm using, the posts, plugins, my settings, everything that was installed over there. Now it's available here. Now, in this case, I can go right ahead and work with the theme files. I can edit anything that I like without having the worry of breaking the main site. So for example, if I wanted to edit one of the backend files, I can do so right here without affecting the main site, which is a great idea for this. Or if you are a developer testing plugins, this is also a great idea because you have different test sites that you can create staging sites to work with your updates and making sure that everything is working fine. Now that's for that part. There's also the staging security. So you have options here, for example, the automatic update configuration. If I want to update WordPress straight from here without waiting to do it manually over there, the update logs, the install themes. So from here, I can go ahead and delete themes that I'm not using, install plugins, enable, deactivate and delete. So in case I break a site because of a plugin, I can go ahead and deactivate it from here and keep on working with the site. So a lot of settings that we have here in staging options which is a really great option, like I said, if you need to create test sites without affecting your main live site. But there you go. That's how easy it is to create a staging site here on Hostinger. So get your testing done. And that's a wrap.